Okay, so we're gonna tell you guys how to clean this out. So if you look really close, can you see the floaters? If I lift up and down, that's what the state board looks for. They're gonna come in, they'll lift up and down. If you have floaters in there, that could be a violation. So you wanna make sure that this is always clean. The easiest way to do this is to use it properly, right? So if I'm using this properly, what I should be doing is before, when I finish cutting hair and I have hair on this, what I should be doing is rinsing it off first, okay? Once I rinse it off, then am I able to put it in here? So a lot of people say, how often should I be changing this out? Well, it really depends how good you use this, right? So every time that I'm using it, am I rinsing the comb off and put it in first? Then I could use it for a week. I could use it for two weeks. There won't be any floaters in here. But let's say if I just change it this morning and I go and cut hair and before I rinse it off, I just grab the comb full of hair and throw it in there. So what have I done? I just cross contaminated my brand new or like uh, barbicide. So now I've got to dump it out. So let's show you how to dump it out now. Okay. So it's real simple. I want to take this all out. Rinse. Try to get any little hairs that are left on it. And I'm going to pour this out. Okay. Just like that. Next, what I'm going to do, swirl it around, try to get rid of it as much as I can. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fill this all the way to the top as much as I can. Go ahead and put this part in as well. I want to fill till about, usually I say past the sticker, something like that. Okay. And if you overdo it, make sure you leave some room for the barber side, okay? So it looks something like that, okay? What I want to do, is I'm gonna take my barber side, let's open this up. And it really doesn't depend on a brand. There's barber side and marber side. In this case, we're just using just what they have like at Sally's, okay? It's the blue stuff, in other words. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about half an inch. So this should rise up about half an inch. Something like that should be fine. It's really important. If I wanna go back, I could refill it or finish it off by just putting a little bit more water in there. But I wanna make sure that I'm at the correct level. It should be something like that. If I throw a comb and a brush, look, let's show an example. If I grab all my clips and I start throwing stuff in here, right? All my clips, because all this stuff could be used in a wet sanitizer. Okay, if I get it all in there, what's happening? My water line is going up, right? So if I continue to put stuff in there, eventually what's gonna happen, it's gonna overflow. That's why you gotta leave a little bit of room to go ahead and take it out. Now, how do we take this stuff out? Okay, let's close this up. You wanna, you can leave it there. You wanna throw me a little towel real quick? Probably from there, there you go. So the proper way to take this stuff out, how long does it need to sit in there? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay, we know that, right? So the proper way to take it out is Lifting this up, this is what it's for. Let's say we left it in there 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and place this all in my sink. It's been clean now. Notice, look at my jar. Since my stuff was clean, you see any floaters? Looks pretty clean. That's how we should use it, right? If we use it the proper way, it could last us a long time. The last thing I wanna do, oh man. The last thing that I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I rinse off all my clips. So make sure you get a little bit of water, rinse them off, get the barber side off of them. And we are done, we are good to go. Once you're dried, put them back in your clean area. Everything that's sanitized stays in there. If you're gonna save some clean stuff, make sure it's dry before you put it in an enclosed area. Never put something wet in there, but that's basically it. Okay, we can stop.